My name is Rob Holston. I'm the program manager for military veteran recruiting at Intel. I've been at Intel for almost 10 years. Um, I did my first eight years I was in corporate finance, um, but during that time I've always been a, a reserve army officer. Um, and so in 2011 I deployed to southern Afghanistan, the 82nd Airborne Division. And I came back uh, last year, and when I came back to Intel, uh, obviously took military leave and came back to Intel, um, they were kicking off our veterans recruiting and staffing program, and I saw that they were looking for someone to lead it, and I kind of jumped at the opportunity. We've always um, have a very good track record of hiring veterans. Um, even without a formal program, Intel, uh, our veteran population are in our U.S. workforce is about 8%. Um, so even without, even on autopilot, we really value uh, veteran experience, their values, their work ethic. Um, but now that we have a formal program, it's been really cool to kind of reach out to the veteran community and kind of communicate um, how Intel values uh, veterans and the experience they bring to Intel and why they're such a critical part of our business success. We do have, obviously Intel has, you know, general, you know, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn accounts, but we've also created a veterans website. Uh, specifically on our intel.com um, jobs page. In addition to that, we've created a Intel Military Veterans LinkedIn group, and we have close to a thousand members in that group now. From an employer perspective, I think the first thing you need to do is really figure out if you want to hire veterans, why, right? Is it, you know, I hate to hear employers say it's the right thing to do because it makes veterans sound like a charity case and, you know, we, something we have to do but we don't really believe in, right? Really find out why you want to hire veterans, right? What is it, what is it that they bring to your organization um, that makes you stronger, that makes you a better organization, which makes you more effective um, and can lead to more success for your company? So figure out why. Um, then, and then the other part of it is really um, for a recruiter and uh, someone in HR or staffing, right, is, is work with your business groups and find those jobs that veterans would be a good fit for. Find those uh, hiring managers that you know will may maybe are veterans or, you know, will champion this cause and hire some veterans as well because sometimes, you know, it's not always very intuitive, like where would a veteran fit in my organization, right? So they need to work with the, uh, the internal business groups to figure out which groups are open to it, which groups need a little coaching, which groups need a little training, um, and then go from there. I guess what keeps me up at night, if anything, and I, like I said, I, I tend to fall asleep pretty hard, right? But, um, you know, it's a lot, of, a lot of veterans are seeking help to find employment, um, you know, and I get a lot of emails and a lot of phone calls from veterans that uh, would like to find employment but may not be the best fit for Intel. You know, we're a high-tech manufacturing company, so the veterans that we seek have a very unique skill set. Um, so we end up having to turn away a lot of veterans um, that are seeking employment. And it's hard um, because as, as a veteran myself, I want to help everybody, right? Um, and so it's tough for me to think of veterans that are out there that are making that transition that may not have found um, employment yet or, or their second career. Um, and so, you know, for me, that, that is always tough for me in this job because I can't help everybody.